This tutorial is brought to you by Hey, what's up guys? My name is Josh Inobakure and welcome to Olufemi Tutorials. Hey, what's up guys? We're going to do a, a small little tutorial on color correction and then maybe a little bit on color grading. I'd like to tell you guys the difference between color correction and color grading first. Color correction is basically getting your colors to look realistic, how they should be. Um, and then color grading is more of a an art form, um, changing the colors up to um, to the the desired um, artistic look that you'd like. Um, when you're doing color grading, you aren't really worried about um, how real the colors look. You're wanting to. You're more worried about uh, making sure the colors reflect the the type of artistic look that you want. So um, here's the thing. Origin when you have your your footage. Um, originally, when you bring your footage in from your camera, sometimes your footage doesn't, sometimes the colors are not the true colors. Sometimes there's like a blue tint or maybe an orange tint. And what you want to do first before you think about color grading is color correcting. So just making sure all the colors are, making sure all the colors are true before you start messing with your footage and changing the colors up to um, whatever your artistic tastes are. So if you look at this footage, you can actually see that the footage came in a little bit blue. Um, so what I want us to do is I want us to take a look at some of the eff color correction effects that um, Premiere has. The cool thing is that the color correction effects and the color grading effects are the exact same effects. It just has to do with um, how you use them um, to determine whether you're color correcting or color grading. It's not that hard. Um, take a look. We're going to go to effects. Okay. We're going to that filter out okay and we're going to go to um, video effects and we're going to go to color correction you're going to have you're going to see a ton of color correction effects underneath color correction and you're gonna it, it may seem a little bit daunting but have no fear most of these effects are doing the exact same thing but it's just the interfaces that look different um, so check this out what we're going to do is we're going to go to RGB curves okay RGB curves um, will be is it's literally the, the effect that I use 95% of the time when I'm doing simple color corrections um, just in Premiere so we're gonna bring RGB curves over to the clip and we're gonna go to effect controls and then we're gonna see this uh, this effect right here okay cool so RGB curves what you have is you have a bunch of these graphs um, you're going to realize how simple these graphs are in a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so um, this, sorry, not graphs. I want to call them curves because that's, that's what they are. So these curves stand for different things. Um, this curve right here is your master curve. Um, it only affects your blacks and whites, so how bright your overall image is and how dark your overall image is. Um, this curve, though, affects different parts of the image. So this part of the curve reflects... Um, this is, is representative of the lighter portions of the image. This point right here being the whitest white of the image, so probably like right there. Um, and this bottom part of the curve is a representative of the darker portions of the image. This curve right here, this point right here at the end of the curve is your blackest black, the darkest black you have in your image, which is probably, you know, maybe right here. Anything in between is just a gr gradual... Um, it is basically just all the, the, the points in the middle. So all the, they're basically different shades of gray. Um, this right here is gonna be um, just uh, your grayest gray. So um, the point right in between your brightest point and your darkest point. Um, but let's, uh, let's uh, put these to work. Let's see if these actually make sense when we're applying it to our image. So what we're gonna do is we can actually pick any point on this graph and change it. So what we're going to do is, is I, right now I only want to affect the bright portions of the graph and I want to make them darker. To make them darker, you're going to bring them down. Let's actually put another point right here. You can put in as many points as you want. And this kind of locks this here so it's uh, this uh, it stays kind of approximately where it was before because I only want to affect these darker areas. 
these lighter areas. Okay, so see how um, it, these lighter areas, the clouds and in the sky, are getting darker now. Okay, see how my darker areas right here and my hair didn't really get affected that much. It was really the lighter areas that got affected. And I just brought them up. Let's uh, now, instead of making our lighter areas darker, let's make our lighter areas even brighter. So, as you can see, my darker areas didn't really get affected that much, but it was more the lighter areas that are getting even lighter. It's, it, I say the darker areas aren't being affected. You can see that when I affect any point on the curve, there's going to be at least a little bit of effect along the entire length of the curve. So the darker areas are not going to stay exactly the same darkness, but I'm, it's the lighter areas of the curve are going to be affected a lot more than any other areas. Cool? Okay, cool. So hopefully you guys understand that. Um, you can use this uh, knowledge to understand these other graphs now. Um, uh, this red curve is representative of all of uh, the exact same portions of the image. So this is representative of the lighter portions of the image. This is representative of the lightest point. And this is representative of the darker parts of the image. This is representative of the darkest point. So same point, where there's probably somewhere in this hair. The only difference is, <coughs> the only difference is, if I were to bring this, if I were to bring some point, if I, were, if I, sorry, if I were to bring these lighter points up, it would make those lighter points more red. Remember when, I, if I brought the lighter points up here in this master graph, it would just make them more bright. This makes them more red. What if I, um, and then you, as you see, it's these lighter points that are being affected, not really these darker points. But if I were to bring these lighter points down, it would make them not darker, but it would make them more green. Green is the opposite of red. Know that for any of these curves, if, if you bring a point up, it's gonna make it more of the shade of the curve. If you make bring any point down, it's gonna make it more of the opposite of that color. If you look at a color wheel, the opposite of red is gonna be, um, forgive me, um, this, uh, it's definitely more of like a green, bluish type of color. I'm not really good with my colors, but you get the point. Um, so you can actually affect different portions of your image doing this. So say if you're doing, uh, say if you wanna make the lighter portions more red, you can bring the lighter portions here up. If you wanna make your darker portions down here more green, then you can bring those down. As you can see, the, gr the darker portions of the image are now more green, greenish blue, whatever color that is. And now the lighter portions are now more red. Very interesting. Cool. Now I got to my blue. Sorry. I need a, sorry. Um, another thing, if you ever want to delete these points, just bring it to the side and it'll, it'll snap right off. It'll disappear. Now I have my blue curve. The opposite of blue, if you remember on the color curve, it color wheel is yellow. So if I bring any of my points my uh, my if I bring say my lighter points down it's gonna make them yellow um, I'm gonna bring these points off I want this to be regular okay cool so now um, if you remember we want to correct this uh, this footage want to color correct the footage so um, does it seem like the we so we have a lot of blue here so we want to counteract the blue by adding yellow so we want to drag put, add yellow into this to make the colors look not blue or yellow, but you want to just put just enough yellow to take the blue out without actually making the footage look yellow. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, we're gonna pick a point somewhere in the middle just to kind of there we go, just to kind of uh, affect the entire picture as a whole, whether it be the white points, the the bright points or the dark points. And as a whole, as you can see, we brought a little bit of that blue out, and now you can see that the colors look more true. So we, we brought just enough yellow in to take the blue out, but not enough where the footage starts looking yellow. Um, check this out, guys. Um, if you ever want to see what an effect looks like toggled on and off, you can toggle it on and off with here, with uh, this FX button. As you can see here, the footage looks a lot more blue when it's off. And when we put the effect back on, we added a little bit of yellow to make the colors look better. Look at the skin. The skin looks a lot more natural than it did without the effect. Cool. Um, so as you can see here, we can, um, the green is the exact same thing. We can make stuff look more green, or we can make stuff look more purple, which is the opposite of green. 
um, you can have as, as stack as many of these effects up as you want. And um, as if you didn't notice already, um, you anything when you say you are say you have gotten to this point where you have at this point this footage is now color corrected the colors are now true you can then go in and actually color grade doing exactly what we were actually doing before you could go in and say hey okay these colors look correct now but now hmm I want um, the girl's face to have more of a reddish more of a excuse me more of a reddish look okay her face is more dark right so I'm gonna bring the reds up right there but I want the sky to be have more of a greenish look so I'm going to bring the sky down here um, I don't think this is a great color grade but I want you to at least understand how to do it um, color grading a lot of the time is just a lot of trial and error alright guys that's the difference between color correction and color grading and that's how to do it in Premiere Pro thanks for watching